presenter is Megan. She'll be talking about how to be a good friend. All right. So who's your best friend? Your mom, your dad. So you might think that's kind of weird, but I mean, 10 years ago, that was normal. We were all in kindergarten, first grade. That's who our best friend was, our mom and our dad. Well, I decided to look up what friend was in the dictionary, and um, it says, uh, it's a person attached to another by feelings of affection or personal regard. Okay, so that's fine, mom and dad, that's cool. Okay, so what about friendship? What's friendship? I looked that up and that meant, that said, a per, um, the state of being a friend. So the key word here was being. So what is being an actual friend? Um, well, in my case, I think it's someone who's um, kind, loving, well-mannered, giving, um, forgiving. Um, but I know we're all humans here. We're not perfect, so I don't expect everybody to have those kind of qualities. Um, so is it that difficult, though, to be a friend to a person who needs one, to be there for somebody? Um, so then I took a 10-question survey. I put the link in my Instagram bio, and just within two hours, I got over 100 people who took this. And I'm going to read you um, some questions and some answers that people gave me. So one of them was um, ranking the qualities of friendship, um, one to three, one being the highest, um, between trustworthy, honesty, and kindness. So um, trustworthy, one, with the number one quality um, in a friendship. Um, so then it went, I went on to ask, and, um, have you lost any friends in high school as you've grown older? 96% said yes, and only 4% no. Another was, have you ever been stabbed in the back by a close friend? Again, a whopping 84% and only 16% no. The last question I asked was, how are you being a good friend right now? 87 out of the total 120 people who took their survey answered with being there for somebody. I found that surprising considering sometimes I can barely find someone there for me as, a, as much as I am for them. What I learned from this was I'm not alone in the friend department. We all want the same thing. It's just a matter of finding the right kind of friend for yourself and surrounding yourself with those people. So throughout my life I've tended to be kind of screwed over by the ones that I think are my friends. And um, friendship has always been super, super important to me. I'm always wanting to give, 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 but I'm not really receiving anything in return. Not that I expect anything from people, but I just feel used as my friendship continues and I'm not getting anything in return from them. Um, I know I'm not perfect and I've um, always done so much of my power to please my own friends and I hope in hopes of inspiring other people to be as great of a friend as I would be to them. Um, my close friends have been there for me through my through so much, and I appreciate them with all my heart. They were there through the sadness, the hurt, the ups, the downs, and I could never repay them, but through being a great friend to them as well, being for them. Um, so thank you to them. They know who they are. And yes, you might say, oh, Megan Ledford, she has tons of friends. Well, what you consider a friend is different than the way I consider one. Yeah, I have many acquaintances, but I just have a few close friends. So I'm going to ask you again, who's your best friend? Thanks.